Right? I love you so much. <laughs> you guys, pool is really warm. It's really nice. So, I feel pretty lucky. <laughs> Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you about lucky girl syndrome. Basically, lucky girl syndrome is a manifestation, being able to attract everything good that you want in your life. But I can say I definitely manifested this. It just came out of nowhere. So I thought instead of just talking to you, I will also show you the result of being a lucky girl and how to be one, you know? This is like the middle of the week. I never get to do anything for myself middle of the week. I work a lot, I'm an entrepreneur. So to disappear in my life, I cannot wait to tell you what exactly I do to manifest things in my life like this. So I thought instead of making a boring sitting down video, since you don't know me yet, I will just uh, make a vlog and show you the result of my manifestations. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it though. Let's go to the pool. Okay, so have you heard of lucky girl syndrome? It's a pretty cool term to identify with, so I really wanted to talk to you about it. I will find some nice private place. Let's go. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, so I found this place. We're in a poolside right now. It's really quiet, so it's a perfect place. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to become a lucky girl. Basically, if you really want to become a lucky person, a lucky girl, lucky guy, it doesn't matter. It's all about rewiring your brain. You see, our subconscious mind is a powerful thing. It believes everything we tell it, whether it's positive or negative. That's why old habits die hard. The longer you have been telling something to yourself, the stronger that belief becomes. But there is a good news. You can rewire your brain by telling yourself positive things. <laughs> So, continuing. <laughs> it was very sweet. I mean, I always warn him to not get caught in a camera when I talk to you guys, but I mean, see, that makes me pretty lucky girl, doesn't it? And that's just because I believed I was. For a very long time, I used to believe I wasn't lucky based on all the things that went wrong in my life. But then I took a moment and rewind my memories. <laughs> I was actually pretty fortunate. One example that comes to mind is when I wasn't able to study abroad in the country that I had my heart set on. At the time, it felt like a huge disappointment. But looking back, I see that it was actually a redirection. So I ended up studying in London instead. And it turned out to be one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Looking back, I feel that rejection that I felt from not being able to study in my preferred country wasn't really a rejection at all. It was a redirection that led me something even better. It's easy to get caught up in disappointment and forget to look at the bigger picture. So if you ever felt like you're not lucky, take a moment to rewind and look back at your life sometimes. Things that disappoint us turn out to be the very thing helps us move to the next level in life or bring us to something even better. So if you ever felt like you're not so lucky, try reframing your perspective and see if you can find the hidden blessings in your life. Who knows, you might just be a lucky girl after all or a guy. Okay, so by reframing your mind and your memories, by realizing how fortunate you are, by appreciating all the good things, you will start realizing that you are actually lucky and that's all you need. You just have to decide that you are and you will be. Lucky girl syndrome is nothing new, obviously. It's just a new way of expressing a term that has been used for centuries by very wise people. So have you heard of manifesting? <laughs> if you heard of lucky girl syndrome, you must heard of manifesting. It's all about using the power of your thoughts and intentions to attract the good things in your life basically very well forgotten old technique you know how they say everything new is very well forgotten old i think that's what manifesting is you know here is the deal our thoughts are like magnets when we focus on positive things we attract more positivity in our lives but when we dwell on negative things or negative thoughts we end up attracting more negativity that's where the manifesting comes in by intentionally focusing on the good stuff so we can create more of it so basically today we're talking about how to become a lucky girl so don't worry just keep watching so the good news is you can rewire your brain to believe positive things about yourself all you have to do is to keep repeating positive things to yourself about yourself keep repeating positive affirmations to yourself and if you don't believe them at first over the time your brain uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so my boyfriend ordered a coffee for me and they're going to bring it to me. These are my notes here. So basically there is a science behind this and I will explain to you what happens once you repeat positive affirmations over and over again to yourself. This is not just woo woo. There is actually science behind affirmations. So even if you don't believe it at first, over time, your brain will start to create new neural pathways that reinforce those positive beliefs. So if you want to become a lucky person, start by telling yourself that you are lucky. Say it out loud, write it down, put it on a sticky note on your bathroom mirror whatever works for you the key is to keep repeating it until you truly believe it but here is the thing affirmations alone won't make you lucky you also need to take actions towards your goals what affirmations does is give you a positive perspective okay i got my coffee you guys it looks so good yeah it's good it's good thank you uh ooh, looks good oh it's hot mm. So here's the thing, affirmations alone won't make you lucky. You also need to take actions towards your goals and dreams. That means creating new habits that support your positive beliefs. So start by making affirmations a regular part of your routine. Personally, I like to do affirmations before bed because I know my subconscious mind is listening and I just keep it going. I have a playlist on YouTube and I just keep it going all night. Sometimes I wake up and I've been listening to affirmations eight hours and I don't know why, but I feel positive about my life. I'm not saying I wake up every day feeling, oh my God, world is amazing and my life is amazing sometimes i do if i'm really excited about something but sometimes i don't and when i don't i put more affirmations while i'm making a coffee you know or make a breakfast i just put it on youtube you have to help yourself for example you know like sometimes you wake up like everything starts going wrong you spill the coffee you have to change your shirt now you are brushing your teeth and you just realize your toothpaste was finished just one after one there is actually a technique you can stop that by just laugh it's just a vibration, you know? Good energy attracts good energy, bad energy attracts bad energy. So when you just woke up, maybe you didn't want to wake up at 6 a.m. and you're already moody. So how you made a coffee and it, you have to change the shirt or iron it or I don't know, like it's, just, it's not pleasant. But if you don't let it go on, just laugh about it or put some positive music that puts you in a really good mood. You can really very fast change that negative energy into a positive. The rest of your day will go amazing. You will not even remember how your day started. But if you let it affect you and go at work with this mood as well, you have to learn to stop that energy and turn it into positive. And whatever puts you in a good mood, you know, I sometimes say, Alexa, put some Frank Sinatra. It always puts me in a good mood. So that's what I do for myself. So find what works for you. Also, do not forget about gratitude. Attitude. That's so essential and important part of manifestation and feeling lucky because when you recognize all the simple things, big or small, that you are grateful, it will reinforce this belief that you actually are lucky. The only time you don't feel lucky is because either you don't see the bigger picture or you just don't pay attention to all the other things that you are lucky. So if four things are going wrong in your life and one is going good, if you focus on that, all other four things will align and work out for you. I don't know why we humans do, but if four things are going good and one is going bad, we always focus on that one problem. So I can't say it's a hard work, but it's just you have to catch yourself, you know, in your in your own thoughts. What are you thinking? Are you thinking positive or are you thinking negative? Anyways, the outcome will be what it's going to be. So what's the point of staying negative about it? Just keep a journal where you can write down 10 things you're grateful in your life and do it in the morning so the rest of your day can go really well and do it at night as well so you can go to sleep on a positive note so you can wake up next day on a positive note. So just start practicing affirmations, change your habits, create new habits that support your positive beliefs. Before you know it, you'll be the luckiest girl you know. Like I feel right now. So, okay, so my boyfriend came to pick me up just the right time and I'm going to some kind of a waterfall or a heated pool. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Thank you for Good listening. I woke up left out on the porch, making too much.